The stories, the headlines, the controversies, the clarifications and the fake news trend. We will get explanations from the presidency on the biggest controversial stories of the week right here on the program. President Muhammad Buhari and leaders from the Southeast meet at a presidential villa. What are those burning issues affecting the region? Well, it's a good Friday, I guess. As the day is running up, we bring you some of the biggest stories in politics. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics Today, live on Channels Television. I'm Shomar Kimbalue in Lagos. Let's get started. It's a, a fast-paced world that we have here, right here on Channels Television, Politics for you today. Let's begin from the latest stories coming from the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The commission has said that it has not yet officially released the timetable and schedule of activities for the 2019 general elections. This is Ampere's reaction to several inquiries from stakeholders who wanted clarification on the issue. The commission insists that only the actual dates for the general elections were raised. President Muhammad Buhari will attend the grand finale of the All Progressives Congress campaign ahead of the November the 18th governorship election. The chairman of the party's National Campaign Council, who is also the governor of Borchi State, disclosed this when he presented the APC candidate to the president at a presidential villa in Abuja. The APC candidate, Dr. Tony Nwoye, told the president that he is confident that his party will win the governorship polls with a landslide. Our people are seeing reason about why there should be election. We are talking, you know, some of these people are young people who are unemployed. Some of them are frustrated. Uh, some of them have been brainwashed because they say the hungry man is an angry man. We have been talking to them. Remember that I was one time a student's activist. That's why I keep on talking to our, them to see reason where, so that uh, so as to allow Anambra people to elect who they want to, to lead them. So I'm coming for the oppressed people of Anambra state. I'm coming for them, for God to help us, if elected, for their yearnings and their aspirations to be met. Our team on youth, especially, and the poor women and women in the in the villages who can access, who cannot access their farmlands, who cannot even access to, who cannot do basic things to end both, uh, to make both and meet. I'm coming to wipe away their tears if I'm elected the governor of Anambra State.